starting off by just using a normal pencil and I'm going to try and break it in half. Oh, there we go. That kind of hurt, so be careful when you're doing this. So I'm just going to take some scissors and just get rid of any of the little sharp bits. Be really careful when you do this. And then I'm going to try with an old nail file, just to file it down, but at an angle, so that when it comes out of the nose, it looks a bit more realistic. <laughs> So I've just cut it off just like this, just to make it a bit smaller, and I'll be sticking it here. It's not too sharp actually, but I'm just going to file off the bits. So I'm just filing it down just like this. This is actually a nail file for acrylic nails, so the grit on it is a little bit harder, it's a bit coarser, so it's a bit easier, but you can use anything, you can even use like sandpaper. I'm just taking a tiny bit of cotton wool and putting it over the sharp edge of the other end of the pencil because you don't want to damage your nose. <laughs> there we go, that looks really attractive. Next I'm going to use some spirit gum, if you haven't got spirit gum you can also use liquid latex, it does the same thing. This is just a bit better for holding things that are a bit heavier. Don't get this on your eyebrows though, because you will pull off the hairs. I'm just going to hold it down for a few seconds, just while the spirit gum dries. Spirit gum didn't work that well, so I'm going to try with liquid latex. Try and line it up as straight as possible because obviously you want to make it look as realistic as you can. I'm just going to take some more liquid latex on my cotton bud. This feels really secure now. Um, and I think that was because of the spirit gum and the liquid latex, but I think it'd be just as good just with liquid latex on its own. Probably not spirit gum because it's really not essential. So I've done that just to cover up the end of the pencil and make it look like it has just come straight through the nose. I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'm going to put some black, brown and red uh, cream colour all over it and some fake blood. I've just put a bit of liquid latex on the end of the pencil and just put some cotton wool on it. That will just keep the cotton wool in place. Depending on how much cotton wool and how much liquid latex you use, it will take quite a while to dry. So I'm just going to make sure that it's set completely before I put any cream colour over the top. So I'm just taking my Mehron Breeze wheel and I'm starting off with the brown. This is just an old facial brush, I think, so I'm just using brushes that I don't really care about. I don't think it will feel very nice on the skin though, it's quite a hard brush, but I'm just going around the edges, this will just give the impression of a bruise. Don't forget to go under the pencil too. Then I'm going to go into the black, I'm just taking a tiny bit of this black and I'm concentrating this just around the base of the pencil. With the red I'm just going to cover up all of the white that I can see and then take it up the pencil and down a bit. You just want to make sure you cover all of the cotton wool because you don't want that to show. It has to look as realistic as possible. If you haven't got this bruise wheel, you can use a lipstick and some eyeliner, some eyeshadow. This isn't going on any, like your eye area or anywhere particularly delicate, so it doesn't really matter um, what you use. And you can just work with what you've got. That's what I say in all of my videos. It's only for Halloween. There's no point in buying loads of new products if you're not going to use them for like another year, if that. This brush is really, really hard, it really hurts on the skin, but it's quite good because it's so textured that you kind of get like this bumpy look with it. I'm going to just put some liquid latex onto the pencil just to keep it in the right position. 
Final step is the fake blood. touches I'm adding is just a matte brown and black eyeshadow under my eyes because obviously if a pencil had just gone shooting through my nose I'd have dark circles and a bit of bruising everywhere. I didn't let the liquid latex dry for long enough before putting the blood on which is why my pencil keeps slipping out of my nose but this one seems really secure it's completely fine. I really hope you enjoyed this really quick tutorial. Please remember to put liquid latex on the bottom of your pencil. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!